Hey buddy, it's 54 Newster, and today we're going to learn the next part of our FPS tutorial. We're going to learn how to pick up ammo, we're going to learn how to reload the gun, we're going to learn how to shoot the gun, we're going to learn what happens when you don't have a ammo and you basically can't shoot the gun. We're also going to learn how to go to basically a beacon, turn the beacon off, and yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. So what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to show you a quick demo. Is we're going to pick up only one of these ammo packs, and as you can see, we have the ammo, but we don't have the gun, so we can't shoot. I'm going to pick up the gun, and as you can see, uh, beacons out. But we do have this huge, gigantic uh, crosshair right in the middle of the screen. Now the mouse is actually totally right in the middle of the screen, so when we click it, it you know counts down and as you can see the um, it's now gone off to the side the uh, icon so we can we can now not click it and you know since we can't click it and it's down to zero or you know our ammo is down to zero it yeah we can't spend any more bullets we can't shoot anymore but we're gonna pick up another ammo pack and now we're gonna go back down we're gonna go back to shooting and now we can't shoot anymore so that's what we're gonna do so, let's see, uh, oh, we have an ammo pack over here, so we're going to go straight to here. And we're going to say rotate, and you know, you guys know how to rotate something in Copper Cube if you see my previous videos. If you don't, you know, just add, rotate, and choose, you know, uh, which, you know, what number you want to uh, rotate and what speed, and how you want it to rotate. So we're also going to say on proximity to something, the distance being 10 units. Uh, a scene in a node, uh, no, uh, the camera scene, uh, camera node, is going to enter the radius, and we're going to do something. So we're going to delete the ammo pack since you know we picked it up. We don't want it just being suddenly there again. We're going to set our change of variable, the handgun ammo, to the value of 10. So we're adding 10 to our ammo of zero, and that's going to happen the same over here. It's going to delete the scene node and add 10 more. So what happens when we, you know, we add ten bullets? Well, what's gonna happen? We have to be told that we're being, uh, we have ten bullets. So what we're gonna have is a insert a two D overlay, and we're gonna basically say no color, no, you know, no texture. Actually, you could say a add a color. It might help you see it. But what we're gonna say is uh, in the text box score dash dash money sign handgun ammo money sign that basically means we're going we want to see it real time whatever happening is in game is going to monitor it in the engine um so yeah and then from there we go into plane mesh 7 which is the actual item that we're clicking on to shoot and it's over here, so I'm going to set it to visible. So there we go. And it's way off, you know, to the side. Actually, I, I didn't put it all the way off to the side because I wanted us to still see what's going on. But normally you would have it go way off to the side so you couldn't see it. And since it doesn't collide, you know, can't do anything. Okay, every few seconds we're going to do something. So every mil uh, 10 milliseconds, um, if a variable has a value to do something, then do something. Well, our variable is handgun ammo, and if it's bigger than the value of zero, we're going to change the position to be straight in the middle of the camera so we can click on it. If not, we're going to keep it off to the side. So yeah, that's the variable for that. And then we're going to go over to the last one, which is the handgun. So rotate as usual, and on proximity, the basically distance of 10 units, the current active camera is going to enter the radius and do four actions. It's going to delete the gun. It's going to unhide or hide the scene node, and the, that is actually it's going to make visible the uh, arms right in front of the camera that's holding the gun. Delete a scene node, the fire, the green fire beacon. And it's going to hide on hide a scene node. It's going to make visible the plane mesh seven. That's the uh, basically the trigger icon. 
the trigger icon, but yeah, this icon that we set as um, visible. So now we're going to play it. We're going to pick up some ammo. We can't click. Uh, we can click, but you know, we you don't have a gun. So remember that uh, target icon is off to the side. We can now see it, and the you know the fire's gone. We can click it, click it, click it. We're you know out of ammo. We're going to pick up some more ammo, and we're going to shoot some more. Now what you would do is that actually you would move it off to the side, uh, way off camera. Or right, bef right, actually, right behind the camera, so you couldn't see it. Actually, not behind the camera, but you know, off to the side, so that you could see. You can't click on it until you picked up some more ammo. So, hopefully, guys, you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope to see you in the next one. If you have any tu uh, tutorial requests, please put them in the uh, video description. Like, yeah, right below. Or you can email me at greattutorials at gmail.com. I'll be putting that email link down below so you can email me. Uh, and the next tutorial will actually be uh, uh, doing some new stuff, some more environment stuff. The ability to, you know, pick up mission or audio logs, probably a menu. And the ability to, be, uh, to switch between... Uh, two different weapons. So we're going to be picking. So we're going to pick up this weapon, but we're also going to probably pick up either a knife, or some sort of flare pistol, or a shotgun, or you know some sort of assault rifle. Um, and then from there, in the next tutorial after that, it's probably some enemies or something like that. So we can keep it basic, but still have a you know a generic FPS shooter. So I'll be seeing you guys in the next tutorial, and as usual, hit the like, subscribe button to show your support. Till then, guys, I'll be seeing you in the next video.